Hello and welcome to a new video for Luck Poker. Today I'm going to speak about cash outs, more precisely when to do them, how big should they be and why to do them of course. So this video will be helpful to all kinds of players, doesn't matter if you play tournaments or cash games or something else. Uh, I think it's just important to have a cash out strategy uh, early on in your career so you avoid the biggest mistakes. So the first question to ask yourself is why do you play poker and what is your goal with it? Uh, if you're planning to climb the stakes as quick as possible, hopefully, uh, it's going to be very different your cash out strategy uh, from the situation in which you are just playing to make money right now. If your goal or your dream is to climb the stakes and play uh, higher games than you are playing right now, keep in mind that every cash out you make is going to damage this, uh, your, your, your trip in poker and is going to slow down things a lot. So if your situation is this, you want to, let's say, move up and move in uh, bigger games, keep in mind that you should be very conservative with your cash out strategy and I will go on it uh, in a few. Otherwise, if you are uh, just playing at your stakes, let's say cash games and L50 and you're happy with that, you know, maybe you have an, a, another job and you're just okay to have poker as a, a profitable hobby and you're perfectly fine playing L50 and you are already playing L50, then you know you can be a bit uh, uh, more, let's say, aggressive with your cash out strategy and you can cash out more frequently uh, and also bigger amounts. Basically, you can cash out all your profit after a certain amount of hand and that, that's perfectly fine. But how frequently should you cash out? You know, I think that one big mistake poker players do is to try to split your poker career in month per month or year per year, doesn't matter, like like you do with a, a regular job, you know, in regular jobs you get a salary every month and it's pretty natural to split your working period in January, February, March and so on. Poker is a bit different, in poker you don't get your salary every month, uh, so I think it's a bit, of, it's a bit pointless to, to, to divide time in uh, calendar months. What I would do is just to split my uh, games period, playing period, in uh, a certain uh, amount of hands if I play cash games of two or tournaments if I play tournaments. I'm a cash gamer so I will make the example of cash games which comes to me more natural but I'm sure if you play tournaments you can relate to that anyway and make the proper adjustments. So for a cash gamer I think it's important to cash out not too frequently in terms of hands you play because the risk is that you are going to cash out uh, an upswing before an eventual downswing hits. You know, if you cash out every 30k hands, uh, the results you are basing your cash outs on are heavily influenced by the variance. So uh, the risk is that if, if in this 30k hands you are running pretty good and you cash out on that, on that good run, uh, the next month or, or the next 30k hands, as you can say, uh, you might end up in a downswing and you will have trouble resisting to that because you cashed out uh, your upswing, as we said. So what I suggest is to uh, cash out every certain amount of hands, but this amount of hands shouldn't be too small. Uh, you shouldn't cash out every 30k hands. I think you should cash out every uh, 100k hands the, the least. So uh, better if you cash out, for example, every 200,000 hands. This way, the results you are basing your cash outs on are a bit, a bit more reliable on what is your uh, actual win rate. And this way you avoid doing big mistakes like assuming you are winning this much, but then you are not. And then the troubles come when you enter an announcing and your bankroll cannot uh, face it. So yeah, uh, set a certain goal of hands or number of tournaments if you play tournaments and after those pe that period, make your cash out. Regarding how much should you cash out, as I said before, it depends a lot on uh, which are your goals. Uh, if you're playing a stake, 
and you are perfectly happy with it and you don't plan to move up, as I said, it's perfectly fine if after this period of hands or tournaments you play, you just cash out all, all the profit there is. Uh, it's, it's perfectly fine. Um, but if you, uh, you have the goal to climb the stakes and all the income you have, or anyway, if the only way you have to build your role comes from your winnings at the table, I think you should be uh, way more conservative in your cash out. It's pretty personal, of course, there is no uh, uh, universal truth on that, but my suggestion is that if you're not happy with your stake and you're planning to climb uh, to bigger games, you should probably not cash out more than 30% of your total winnings in this, in this period of hands or tournaments you set for yourself. I know, it, it sounds very few to cash out only 30% of your winnings in this uh, period of time, but keep in mind that uh, the quicker you climb the stakes and the quicker you get to where you want to be, uh, the better it will be for, of course, your uh, money, your pocket in the long run, because um, poker is, and earnings in poker are kind of exponential, and the, the earlier you, you get out from low stakes, uh, the better it is in general. So uh, it's really important that you don't cash out too much because the quicker you climb the stakes, the better it is. And let's come to the why to cash out. Well, it, of course, it's obvious we, everybody likes to have money and spend money. But uh, what I want to say is you may ask then, okay, I don't need to cash out. Why would I cash out ever if my plan is to climb the stakes? It's a good question. And technically speaking, you could also end up not cashing out and it may be a good strategical decision but you know i think that it's important to keep yourself motivated and even if you cash out a bit uh, every let's say 100k hands or few k tournaments i think it's uh, it's really important for your uh, mood to keep yourself let's say motivated to see that your efforts are being paid somehow even with a small, small thing you need to cash out and buy, buy yourself uh, a very expensive and fancy things, even a little thing, even even a night out that you just play with your poker money. I think it's uh, it's uh, it's a good thing to to give yourself some prize. And that was it. I hope you liked this video. Thanks for watching, and see you next time.